Greetings. Hi, I'm Dr. Walter Jacobson, a board-certified psychiatrist. I will be well. I will myself to be well. Nothing can attack me or harm me except my own thoughts, except my fear. Regardless of circumstances, I remember who I am. I am not a body. I am free. I am guiltless. I am sinless. I am eternal. I am invulnerable. I am as God created me. Only the mind can be sick. Only the mind is in need of healing. Okay, so most of you will make no sense out of what I just said. It will seem absurd to you. It will seem to be magical, moronic, new age, religious, spiritual, psycho babble, nonsense, what have you. Who in their right mind would believe that our mind has control over our body and can heal any illness? You're looking at them. Okay, guess what? Psychosomatic medicine is real. The mind-body connection is real. Google it. Look it up. Most people just don't take the premise of mind over matter, mind over body to the ultimate conclusion that we manifest our illnesses based upon the contents of our thoughts. If we are sick from any illness, it means that an unconscious level, at an unconscious level, we have chosen it. We are not a victim of it. We can choose wellness instead. How does this work? Okay, there are two thought systems. One is based on fear, one is based on love. When our mind is filled with fear thoughts, which include guilt, shame, judgment, anger, resentment, jealousy, and a belief in separation, our mind is sick and the body will follow suit. The body will find a dis-ease to express those thoughts and feelings. When our mind is filled with loving thoughts, which include compassion, acceptance, tolerance, forgiveness, and a belief in oneness, our mind is free of all fear and negativity, and the body will follow suit, and we will be well. Here's the key to this. The love, the acceptance, the forgiveness needs to be unconditional and without exceptions. Love ye one another means love everyone, forgive everyone, accept everyone, regardless of how they are behaving, regardless of how ugly and evil their words and actions appear to be. Easier said than done? Hey, no kidding. This is the most difficult thing to do. There is nothing harder. But it's all about progress, not perfection. As you practice these principles in your daily lives with all people, all living things under any and all circumstances, you will see results. Your lives will get better. You will be happier, you will be healthier, you will have better relationships, you will be more successful in all aspects of your life. You will have inner peace and will be contributing to the world peace, which will happen one day, but only if each of us applies these principles, insists on unconditional forgiveness, acceptance, and love. Particularly when our ego says, don't do it. Forgiveness is for chumps and losers. Don't listen to that voice. It has gotten you where you are now. It has failed you. It is a sickness in your mind. When you reject it and replace your fear thoughts with love, miracles happen. All things are possible. It will work if you work it. Thank you.